99 million years ago, during the mid to late Cretaceous period, lived a predator who is one of the biggest carnivores to ever walk the earth. The Gig Giga? Giganatosaurus. May not have a name as memorable as the T-Rex, but this ancient mighty killer, whose name literally translates to Giant Southern Lizard, has stomped its way into the minds of millions due to its contribution to the movie Jurassic World Dominion. Having one of the more jaw-dropping scenes in the film, plenty of moviegoers are now wondering, was the Giganatosaurus really that big? In this video, we will compare both the Dominion and real-life version of the Giganatosaurus to see how close Hollywood was to the ancient animal's true size. Chomp the subscribe button and hit the bell if you haven't already, and let's get to it. Back during the promotional period for Jurassic World Dominion, a bit of dialogue from the legendary character Dr. Alan Grant stirred up some controversy amongst the fans of the series. The line in question was, Grant claiming the Giganatosaurus was the largest predator to ever walk on land. And in the movie, the gig is definitely massive. The official movie size statistics for the Giganatosaurus say the beast is 15.5 meters or 51 feet long, 5.5 meters or 18 feet tall, and weighing in at 10 tons, or roughly 20,000 pounds. A size even larger than the series' famous T-Rex that fans love to call Rexy. Stay tuned till later in the video when we uncover the size of the real-life Giganatosaurus, but before that, let's go over how the Gig has grown to be so large in Jurassic World Dominion. When wild animals are kept in captivity, like zoos and healthily operated enclosures, they tend to grow to sizes much larger than they would if they were out in the wild. The consistent healthy diet provided by their human handlers, combined with the lack of competition or predators, allows the animals to just continue to grow. Throw into account the lore of the series, which has most of the dinosaurs having at least some variety of reptile DNA thrown into their genetic makeup, and you have a dinosaur who will likely keep growing. And of course, it's a movie in a long-lasting franchise that has had dinosaurs freaking us out for decades, so the dinosaurs need to be larger than life to deliver that awe factor to the audience. That being said though, the creators of Jurassic World Dominion weren't that far off from the estimated true size of the Giganatosaurus. The thing truly was massive. Take into account here that I'm not a paleontologist, but this is what the sign says so far. While a complete fossil record has yet to be found, enough has been discovered to reveal that the Giganatosaurus was both taller and longer than the mighty T-Rex. Although the title of beefiest or heaviest carnivore still stands with the Tyrant King. The estimated size of the real-life Giganatosaurus is 13 meters or 43 feet long, a couple meters shorter than the size of Rexy in the Jurassic Park series, a little under 5.5 meters or 17 feet tall. Not much difference there with the movie version. And coming in at 9 tons or around 18,000 pounds in weight. So once again, about the same as the Dominion version. In conclusion, the creators of Jurassic World Dominion only slightly increased the size of the Giganatosaurus, mostly just coming in the way of length. And this is a size that perhaps if the Giganatosaurus was still alive, could be achieved if it was kept in captivity and cared for by humans who wanted to see the animal grow. Now how the real attitude on this creature is, well that's a topic for another day. As I leave this video, here's a question for you viewers. I want you to finally put the debate to an end. Who wins, the T-Rex or the Giganatosaurus? Let your voice be heard in the comments. Like this video if you feel I earned it and share it around with your friends who keep telling you the Giganatosaurus was smaller than T-Rex. As always everyone, this has been Jacob and I will see you in the next one.